Hey, hey, all doing? Welcome to this quick shot um, overview. Quick shots is another app by the Lightworks team. Lightworks team, you know, those that bring you Video Leap, Photo Fox, Pixel Loop. Um, those ones. So, so what sort of app does Lightrix consider QuickShot to be? Well, let's have a look at the App Store, the right up in the App Store to um, to read what it says. QuickShot is a photo editor that proves you no longer need to be a professional photographer in order to take amazing pictures. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's a little bit misleading. In my opinion, what is QuickShot? QuickShot um, allows you to make edits, really easy, quick edits to an image. So you don't need a professional skill set, I think, should be the words there or thereabouts. So let's get over and have a look at it anyway. Okay, so let's get into the app. The app's laid out really, really sim simply, um, which I quite like the simplistic feel of the app, and it is really easy to use. Um, and we just have these tools at the bottom of the screen. Starting from the left hand side, we have looks, but I'm gonna come back to looks and talk about looks later, okay? Um, and there's a reason for that. So next along we have this magic wand and the magic wand just enhances that image a little bit. Um, and you can adjust the tint and the intensity. Left is green tint, right is sort of the magenta tint. Um, and it also sharpens the edges and darkens the darks a little bit, lightens the light. So it just makes it, enhances the image a little bit. And then we have heel. Heel is really, um, really good. Next along the line, um, we select the heel and all heel does is just removes something from the image. So let's say this boat in the center of the image or all of the boats on the lake we wanted to remove. We, I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit, make sure the heel is selected, and then I'm gonna run my finger over all of the boat to remove it. And then what you just have to remember is some of the residual parts of the image, like a shadow. So I've got the shadow here, so I'm gonna try and remove the shadow as well, and let's see how, it's, let's see how, how it performs. So perform quite nicely. Let's remove this boat up here. If you press and hold, by the way, as you just saw there, it will show you what you've removed from the image. I'm just going to move along and remove that as well. Deselect the heel, and now we've got nothing on the water. Um, and then little tick button to apply changes. Um, and then what you will notice as we move along, if if there's something in one of these pieces that we've edited, you'll have this little blue um, highlight above it to show that you've actually done something in that tab. Next is sky. So sky, sky is quite nice. It will recognize where the sky is in the image and um, it will replace the sky for you. All I would suggest on this one is that you try and match the feel of the picture. So for instance, if I went for this sky, this red sky, it really doesn't match the feel of the picture for you. But, um, and I suppose another thing is that it doesn't perfectly pick up all the edges like this. So this has got the, this part through it, but what you can actually do, you can um, bottom right hand corner here, you've got the little um, eraser. You can select the paintbrush and then paint in that sky that's missing from there. So you can even replace that line there. Um, and we could go over here and just put it a little bit more closer to the edges like so. So it just makes it look a bit more realistic, I suppose, but I would suggest that this sky is never gonna look that realistic. But what it do, it will remember where you've painted that. And if you put in, um, I don't know, something that looks a little bit more realistic, then, um, then that's that. And then all you do is move the time of it. When I say time, it just moves the, um, moves the, the sky along. Um, and then we have filters. We know what filters are, so filters are just a, a, a set of um, a set of changes that are made to an image, to the colour and to the feel of an image, to um, yeah, to give it a, a different a different vibe, I suppose. So yeah, you just select the filter and you um, increase or decrease the intensity with the with the slider. Really simple. Not gonna not gonna change anything on the filters. Overlays. So on the overlays is just again a set of um, a set of tools that you can apply to an image and if you apply them to the correct image at the correct time they can be quite effective um, 
are there any sort of any of these maybe this one you might want to apply and then tone it right down gives it a bit of a different feel i suppose any overlays elements are a little bit like overlays but less um so more of an optical thing so like you've got a lens flare here so you, you know you can pinch and squeeze that lens flare you just got to get it just got to make it right so you can resize and then you know you could sort of do this type of effect with with that which is which is quite a nice effect it's not overboard but you can go overboard with it but if you just tone it down a little bit it makes it seem a little bit more realistic in my opinion yes it's overboard i wouldn't believe it was real for one minute but um but it looks quite nice details now we've got details go into the details tab you can change the structure sharpen the sharpen the edges darken the edges um change the depth the feel it's really simple again you just apply the completely so we're not going to change anything in the details and again adjust 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 the sort of the same sort of tools that you would expect that you have on your iphone you know if you go into a uh, an image on your iphone you, you select the tools the lights the contrast the vibrance and again you just select it and um you can't get any easier than 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 this i suppose um, let's keep that changed just to show that we've got something there portrait i'm going to talk about portrait in just a sec it's more for a single um single subject in an image and then we have primers and primers are just um just just feels again that you would put over like it like a like a lut shall we say um and then crop crop in the corner i suppose the the best one is the ratios you know for insta 1.1 um, or 1 1 and it will just change that ratio for you um, you can drag it around to any piece of the image that you wanted to like that press the export and you can export you can save as a, a copy you can replace the copy that you've got on your um, system at the time you can post right to instagram or you can um you can um, obviously have the shortcut menu right on cue the little looks um pop up popped up there and basically all it says if i like the feel of this look all of the details in this look i can just save the look there change the name of the look and i've got i've got that look so let's have let's have let's just call it test so now i've got that test look and any picture that i bought in all of the changes that i've made to this image the filter that i've applied to it the little um, rainbow in the top and the love art in the sky will just apply the changes. And you've got some pre-made ones here that um, that you can that you can use. And and again, just scroll up or scroll down. Right, I'm going to go over to that portrait. Um, I'm going to bring a different image in. I'm going to I'm going to go over to that portrait piece just to show you what that does. So I just brought this photo in, and this is a um, this is a this is raw image. So there's no edit been applied to this um and let's go to let's go to portrait just to show you so just consider if this was a person the single tree is the subject in a, in a in a portrait image the subject can be can be whatever it is you know so um it's going to apply the changes so the but this one this pr03 the background's blurred and it's dark and the dark and the um dark and the the subject and then we've got the the pr1 it just does different changes um, and just focuses on the subject that's in the picture. So a nice way to show you how the filters might work here is with this image where nothing's been done to it, it's quite bland. Um, and we're just gonna use one of these here, the vibrance ones. And it just changes the look and the feel of the image with just the tap of a button. And you increase or decrease what that look and feel is like. You still do need to be a good photographer to take good photos. Um, but the photos that you do take, you know, you do sometimes get that good picture. You can apply some really nice effects and um, some really nice primers and, 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 and feel using QuickShot really, really quickly, really, really simply. I hope this um, video has helped you out. I hope you enjoyed it. There are a few more parts to that. Um, if anybody has any questions on it, give me a shout. Until next time. Catch you all soon. Boom.